Welcome back guys to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day. For those of you who are here for the first time, by background I'm a business analyst and on my spare time I make YouTube videos and trade. And I'm actually very excited to start making YouTube videos because I was motivated by my friends and family to do it. But now because of you guys watching my videos, subscribing to my channel and liking my videos and I'm more motivated to make more and more contents. I hope it's been adding value to to you guys and let me know if there is any questions or concerns that you have leave it in the comment section i will work hard to fix it and make a better videos and make a better uh, content so that you guys can learn from it you know i'm sure you can learn from my mistakes and sometimes from my success as well so if we get back to our topic this is pretty much my public portfolio that i recently started it is a very new account uh, for example today we are grown by 440 dollars and this week we're grown by 30%, about $8,000. So this is um, my um, public portfolio where I usually make YouTube videos. And every time when I'm making a new purchase, I always make a video about it so that you can, guys can see what are my movements. But today, uh, it's not going to be about this portfolio. I'm going to be sharing another public portfolio that I had about it. But recently that I started purchasing some warrants and some OTC stocks. Uh, because you cannot buy warrants and OTC stocks here in Robinhood or M1 Finance or uh, this uh, uh, new uh, trading platforms, right? But this in this old school trading platforms, you can pretty much do that. And I am so surprised that this portfolio actually reached about $4,500. That is very interesting because I remember when I started it, it was about $100 or so back in the days. I started on July, it was about $100 and slowly buying, selling and adding a little bit of money. Now it is out $5,000 and all of the uh, stocks that I bought in this portfolio are less than uh, $5, even less than $3. So now we are at $5,000. I cannot believe that happened, but I'm going to be sharing with you why I decided to start, start buying some warrants and some of the stocks that I have in here. So this is also another public portfolio. I named it under Creative Minds. That is similarly with the uh, YouTube channel name that I have. So if you see um, the first uh, spec that I, I purchased here is GIK uh, Geek Capital, which is um, and I I'm sure this is a talk rumors, but the day this is announced, this is the company that I have high expectation for uh, because their merging was a very uh, big company, which is Lightning E Motors they make uh, ev vehicles and um you know they're kind of associated with ford but till this day nothing has happened it's just a rumor and i have about 150 warrants and i bought it by two dollar and 81 cents and uh, it hasn't been up that much yet i'm down by four dollars or so so the difference between uh, warrants and purchasing um the regular spec is warrant is pretty much a fraction of the price for example, if we go to my Robinhood portfolio and if we see GIK, I have also shares right here. If you see, I have about 100 shares and I paid $1,200. But the gain pretty much is the same because the base price, if you see it, the base price is $10. What it has increased is about $2.73. When you go here in TD Ameritrade, it increased about the same price two dollars and 82 cents that's the price that i bought it for if this stock goes to ten dollars fifteen dollars i can simply double my money here and with the money that i can buy maybe right here i bought 100 shares but if i use that 1200 dollars here maybe i can buy 500 600 shares because i'm buying it at two dollar and 82 cents and if you see where the warrant is going to be expiring right at the bottom it shows that it is going to be expiring in 2025. The longer the warrant is, the better it is for you. The shorter the warrant is, the price is going to be cheaper and uh, it's more riskier. So the reason I like this one is because one, if the merged now uh, with the Ford or uh, Lightning e, e Motors, this company has a huge growth potential because they manufacture heavy uh, commercial vehicles and a well-established business models since they already have a factory in place they're going to be a little bit of um having that competitive advantage so keep it on your watch list i already made a video about this i don't want to dive deep and talk about it 
but overall you guys kind of understood why i chose warrants because uh the other the other benefits of choosing warrant is when you choose warrants what happens is that uh you're it's pretty much like an option but an option is a trade between you and another trader but a warrant is between you and the company and they pretty much has a fixed expiration date and that is pretty good and um that is one thing that i really like about it and another one is a company that has a warrant and that's going to be expiring in 2023 tdac tdac recently announced um, a merger with lottery.com so if you see tdac here trade and acquisition they're pretty much trading at 12 dollars and three cents and to buy 185 shares i spend about 2300 dollars so compared to buying the warrant versus the whole spec i think the warrant looks very reasonable and cheaper price right so right here if you see tdac i have about 150 shares and i bought it with four one dollar and seventy eight uh cents so let's see where this company is gonna go i'm sure after the merger you know simply it's gonna go at least to twenty dollars because lot lottery.com has a well-established business model and they already are making money and the other one is tsnp which stands for Tesoro Enterprise, and they are merging with Humble. Today, they have a call around 5 p.m. to discuss further, and they are trading right now at 28 cents per share, a very small market cap company, and high risk and high reward. And uh, honestly speaking, if you really think of a company like this, and I am not highly excited about it because it is trading under a pink sheet, and we never know if it is a pump and dump, or you might lose your money, high risk, high reward. You know, if it goes to one dollar, this is growing by three hundred percent. If it goes to five dollar, this is growing like almost, I don't know, about thousand more than a thousand percent. So I haven't put a lot of money in it, honestly speaking. If you see right here, I only purchased about two hundred shares, and that cost me about fifty-seven dollars. I already made a dollar and sixty-seven cents, and we'll see. And the other one is VGAC. Uh, I don't have any specs on my Robinhood, but VGAC is now uh it is a new spec and a lot of people are having a uh, rumor that uh it's gonna be merging with envision or um, hyperloop but we're not sure yet so i just do not want to miss out on the opportunity that's why i kind of grabbed a little bit of the warrants because the warrant was not that expensive it was trading at um two dollar and 73 cents so if you see vgac owns the spec is richard Brunson, and uh you know he's a well-known entrepreneur and uh, he is the owner of virgin galactic and that can kind of give him a credibility and people are highly um anticipating about what this company could be and where this could go then i can pretty much if the merger completed i can pretty much see this doubling even more than that so then i can sell and uh see where um where i can put down money right because right now if you see the warrants are going to expire in 2025 and at the same time you have the right to exercise that warrant and change it into a stock especially after it is after the merger is complete so, always do your own profound research to be able to understand and know what type of risk uh, tolerance that you guys have and the last two are not a spec companies but these are my favorite companies i wish i bought more shares on this one one is planet 13 holdings and the other one is uh, the very good uh, food company planet 13 is was trading at actually about two dollars when i was buying it i already made 100 percent gain on this one more than 100 percent gain actually and i have sold a lot of shares on this one and with that money i bought all the warrants that i've been showing you i sold about 1500 dollars and bought all the warrants that i've been showing you so overall on planet 13 is a one billion market cap company and uh, they focus on of course cannabis they have um a big uh supermarket in uh, las vegas and they're slowly expanding in different states as well they're actually building another one in a in different location also and uh, being joe biden the president this has a higher chance of growing because legalizing of marijuana and all that is going to be one of the democrats main uh, topics so I will put this on my watch list again and maybe if the stock price can go to 10 20 dollars and i will be so happy right now i only have 155 shares on my public account so i'm not gonna sell it i bought it for 400 dollars and 
now it is about thousand dollars i already made more than two thousand dollars here but i used that money to buy all this other um, warrants that you guys are seeing so the last one is the very good food company i am so mad that i only bought 300 shares you know and i paid 690 dollars and now it was two thousand dollars you know that's what actually took this uh, account for four thousand dollars i cannot still believe it an account that started with hundred dollars now it is five thousand dollars after two three months back because i already grown about 200 and i think uh 85 percent since day since i started this account and i am excited about it because um overall we're here to make good choices and to see where the companies are, are gonna go in the future and uh, if we really do a good profound research and you know why you want to invest in that company even if you lose money you're not going to be mad because you already did your best right so this is another company that i am really excited about very small market cap about 597 million dollars and still a lot of room to grow because the company mainly focused on plant-based uh, food production and if you see where the world is heading and uh, we need this type of companies because most people are concerned about their health you know a lot of people are genetic a lot of uh, foods are genetically modified not healthy and people are kind of working hard to eliminate that and focus on very healthy food so this company focuses on that and maybe this is going to be another company that's going to get to beyond meats and i will always keep my eyes open and if it gets to that level even this uh 300 shares that i have maybe will worth 10 20 thousand dollars and that would be so insane you know and i will be making a lot of videos about that if that happens but i hope this adds value guys you know keep this in your watch list maybe you might get some buying opportunity and but like always make educated decisions and sometimes you know every small uh, details every small moves that you're making can make a huge difference actually i learned that from this um account you now starting this account for hundred dollars going to 300 600 and slowly going all the way to four thousand and nine hundred dollars that is such an interesting journey you know but overall you know uh this is just an experience that we all get uh from uh doing this consistently in the long run we actually learned and we actually grow in the process that is what matters the most at the end of the day i hope this value adds uh, this uh, video adds value and if so please like this video or subscribe and share and thanks for watching guys with that